O ensino superior finlandês foi debatido no seminário organizado pelo Laboratório de Estudos de Educação Superior da Unicamp. A professora Vuoco Kotamaki, da Universidade de Tampere, da Finlândia, apresentou um panorama do sistema de ensino superior finlandês, as principais características da última reforma, seus novos rumos e sistemas de avaliação. Finnish universities have a big reform when the legislation was uh, uh, planned and changed totally in 2010. And the main idea was there to extend financial autonomy of Finnish universities. But it's not only, it's not only about financial autonomy, it's about the uh, internal governance structures and how governing bodies uh, selected and how universities selected and so on. And uh, this was implemented uh, starting from 2010 and now we have around five years experience about it and we have in Finland uh, uh, reform concerning this this uh, university reform how we call it and uh, plenty of uh, students managers leaders academics and stakeholders were interviewed and uh, this will be published next September. I have a study, uh, I have started it to look it from resource dependence theory perspective and will analyze how financial autonomy, how does it look now after the reform. And uh, it seems that from that perspective there are not so many uh, changes if we look it at as a relationship between state and university. So there are still mechanisms to control universities, but of course universities can use the autonomy in a different way. They have more freedoms, for example, to borrow money, own buildings, make investments, have their own staffing policies, have their own financial policies and so on. So it, it's a difference, but uh, at this moment uh, I'm looking on, on the relationship uh, between ministry and Ministry of Education and Culture and universities from the financial autonomy perspective. If I would con conclude something, uh, I think it's a good reform. It gives new ways to operate with external environment with universities and create their own policies and then recruiting policies and so on. But still, there are still uh, some something what has existed also before the reform.